Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Today I have something new for you and we're going to talk about this real quick before we go out and fly it. Um, this is the JJ Pro P130 Battler. Pretty cool little 130. This is a super micro size compared to what we've been flying. We normally fly 210s, 250s and 180s, but today we're going to take a look at this 130. This is super tiny. But it is a really nice clean little build and I want to talk about this really quick before we do this flight because there are some things on here that I want you to know about and also for the setup on the radio. Now when you get this kit in the mail you're not going to have any of these switches set up and the auxiliary channels are actually set to VR, uh, let's see, VRA here and VRB, these two channels right here. So you want to switch in the radio the auxiliary channel to be SBA for your arming switch and your SWC for your mode switch. And you can set that up using clean flight and going in here and you just simply go into the radio setup, you go to auxiliary and that's where you can change to SWC for your auxiliary switch and SWA for your arm switch. So just wanted to repeat that really, really quick for you so that you know, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set it down. Now, one thing before I start flying, I, I want to talk about the way they have this laid out. Now, it has a nice 3mm bottom plate on here, and it's kind of cool because it looks like a throwing star. Kind of got pointy ends on here to protect the motors in a crash. They have some nice padding, foam padding on the bottom of it. The receiver is down here, and the antennas I actually put underneath here with a little zip tie here because they were sticking up front. Uh, out the back, excuse me, and they were just kind of hanging out. So I wanted to make sure that those didn't flop around and get caught by the props. So go ahead and use an extra zip tie on the bottom and get that set up properly. It does have nice four LEDs on the bottom and you have noticed that you don't see the ESCs anywhere. It's not a four-in-one ESC, they're actually on the bottom underneath this piece of foam. So my recommendation to you is take a zip tie and go around these just to give them some extra security there. There is some uh, sticky tack on the bottom of this foam holding those all in place but a zip tie around each ESC would be very beneficial. So this little guy's got three inch props on here. Super cute and it also has an SP Race and F3 board up in here with the latest update from I believe it was back April 2016 so it's got a fairly new uh, firmware on here for you. You've got a 3S850 on here you have 5.8 40 channel camera with race band and you also have 800 TVL and sort of a tiltable camera. You don't get a whole lot of tilt out of this but you know 130 you're going to be cruising. And then also on the back here we have an XT60 which is pretty standard for most of the racers right now and we have 1306 let's see there's a 2300 kV motors. So not a bad setup from JJ Pro. These are getting better all the time from this company and it looks super clean up inside there. All the wires are nice and wrapped up inside and nice and tight and tidy inside there. So it looks like a really nice tidy build all the way around. So my transmitter is kind of beeping at me down here and remember I have this as my arm switch and this is my mode switch so I can go angle mode, horizon and then air mode all the way down. So I'm just going to make sure that my goggles are recording so I can record some flight footage for you guys and show you that nice 800 TVL camera. So I'll go ahead and arm it. And now that I'm recording on the goggles, let's fly this thing. So it's going to be pretty small in the air for me to fly, but right away that's about your bank angle, your full bank angle right there left and right, backwards and forwards. I've got a little red LED on the back, kind of lets me know orientation wise. And I'll just do a punch out for you real quick before we get draining this battery too much. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Now on 3S, doesn't have a lot of punch, but you know, this is kind of a cruiser. 130s won't have the same power as something like a 210 will have. You got blue LEDs in the front. 
And I can switch into horizon mode and give myself a little more angle. And I can also do flips in, in horizon mode, Let's see. And I don't have any rates set up in this, so it's gonna be a, do a huge, oh, uh-oh. So it's gonna do a really big flip. So when you do flip into the ground, make sure you hit your kill switch if you're in air mode. Okay guys, here it is. Let's inspect the crash damage, see if there's anything damaged here. It looks like we had the, the wire went around the outside of the prop, so kind of a long wire back there. Probably a little longer than we really need. I would add an extra zip tie here if I were you. And you want to push that down a little bit to make sure that the wire's not rubbing on the back of the carbon frame. Pretty important. Just gonna look it over one time before I put it up back up in the air. So yeah, those uh, those modes or rates rather are gonna be kind of high. So if you want to do a nice tight flip with this, make sure you set it up in clean flight and add about 75% rate. And it's gonna give you a really nice tight roll. You can do it less if you're a new person. Maybe put it on like 35. Start out with 35% or 0.35 and that should be good. So I'm still recording on the fat sharks. Now I'll go ahead and take back off. Here we go. I won't do any more rolls. But that was a good uh, little durability test. Now, I wasn't flying an acro. I was just cruising in horizon and remember guys this is not going to have the punch or power like a 180 or a you know something like a 200 210 with 2205 motors this is pretty much small scale racing right here now these ESC's also do support BL heli and one shot so they are upgradable and updatable. When I got to the end of my stick there, the uh, flight controller kind of overcompensated a little bit. Kind of wondering what that's all about. Oh, we're just cruising. Some guy walking over to my right, so I'm gonna stay over here kind of close. But I, I just went on their website and looked and there's like a flash sale or something going on right now too. So you can get an ARF version of this for like around $115 right now, which is not a bad price. They also have a ready to fly version, which is the one I'm flying right now. Comes with this transmitter. And that one's around 150 I believe. Somewhere around that price point. These are a pretty good price. So the battery is pretty much going to be close to dead. But not a bad flying little 130, especially since I didn't have to build it myself. And that's that's super nice because I have built 130s and the smaller they get, the more challenging they can be to build. So this one's pretty nice. I didn't have to do anything. I just come out here and cruise with my 130. Just put a battery on it, do a little in clean flight and you're good to go. Not bad at all. So, I guess, you know, for my videos too, I want to talk about good stuff and bad stuff. Good stuff would be, this thing is already set up and ready to roll for you. You don't have to do anything but plug in the battery that comes with it after you charge it up. Turn on the radio and fly it. That's very nice for a 130. The props are nicely durable. I did crash it once. And the frame held hold it up, you know, it held up pretty nice. It's 3 millimeter carbon on the bottom, 1.5 up here. The only thing, okay, let's talk about a few things that I don't like real quick before I let you go. The antenna sticking up front here, I'm not a big fan of that, but it's not right up front. So I would take some, maybe some hot glue and just put some hot glue coat over top of those metal antenna, just in case you hit them. It'll make it a little more durable because I do see that they, they got pinched a little bit in that, that last crash, but not bad. You just want to Make sure you bend those back so you get the best reception. 
but not bad at all. This is one of the first 130s from JJ Pro. So I look forward to more frames and more kits coming out. This is the P130 Battler. Not bad, you guys. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.